Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. I just want to remind you that we are part of the Army Painters Paint Development team now and we did a video on that last just explaining that and why, what and who it is. Click on the little icon up here, it might be on that side. I've never pointed to that before, I have no idea where it is and to be honest, probably probably just going to forget to put the link there. But if you're interested in that, you'll be able to find it on the channel. So in this video, we're really interested in looking and getting some colour on some miniatures and looking at the new speed paints the Army Painter have already produced and that we'll be looking at examining and feedbacking on in the following few months. So let's get those up on the table. So as we can see, Army Painter have already been hard at work producing a whole bunch of new colours in the speed paint range. Right in front of us, we've got 42 new colours. One of them is actually 43, but one of them is a new formula. So this is actually Slaughter Red, but they've adjusted it. So they're working hard on the formula and the resin and all of that that makes up the actual paint constitution. So we're expecting brand new formulas as we go forward as well as these colours. So basically following up on the last video, I think Quite frankly, we need to put some paint on some miniatures. And to do so, we need some high quality miniatures to go with these high quality paints. So I'm gonna nip out now and buy some new miniatures because I don't have enough to paint 43 new colors on. So yeah, I'll stop wasting your time and I'll, uh, I hate wasting people's time. So I'll just get out and get some new miniatures. So I may have over egged the high qualityness of these miniatures. I don't know what I was expecting. I thought the shop would have better things to choose from. But nevertheless, they will do just nicely to slap some of these new speed paint colours and old speed paint colours onto some miniatures. They'll give us a rough indication of both the mid-tones and some of the highlighted areas if it pulls off that hard, but there's also the recesses of each colour. So yeah, we're going to sit back and I'm going to paint these up. I'll give you a little bit of information as we go through anyway so for starters do please bear in mind this is army painters prototype new speed paint they're not finished they're not finalized nothing is completely set in stone yet and the first and foremost thing i should mention is quite frankly the flow is nowhere near done so if we're watching this paint apply and you might not be able to see in these small snippets of information anyway you might not be able to tell that they don't quite flow as nicely as the the actual finalized 23 paints we've been using for a year and that's because and this is cool behind the scenes information that you get being part of the pdt team a pdt team that would be paint development team team but anyway i digress being, being part of the paint development team you do get to find out that the flow actually depends completely on which master pigments are mixed together and they have to work in the lab for sometimes weeks on individual colors just to get that flow and consistency absolutely spot on which is a thing a property of speed paints we've tested time and time again that the there's there's high consistencies between each color in the way they move and flow and yeah um, and that's be because it takes a long time for each individual color to be sort of mastered uh, so yeah bear that in mind as we go through these some of these do frankly apply like glue we fed that back and it's already going to be some it's not it's not something they didn't know they'll be fixing up the flow then on top of that that's the main thing i'll just point out is a problematic problem with these prototypes but the other things to know is these colors are not completely set in stone so we'd love some feedback on that and the other thing is the names the names aren't entirely set in stone so if you see a name here that just does not make any sense whatsoever or for some reason shouldn't be used let us know that in the comments this this is a great opportunity for all of you guys out there there to join be part of this pdt and help army painter make these paints the best that we can and that's just giving feedback to this as we run through so you'll see as we're going through that i did paint up both the new paints uh hopefully you know which is which but also the old ones so you've got a good comparison to the colors that already exist out there which we're you know we're quite used used we're quite used to using by now and um, 
A few things that would also be useful to comment back on is if any of these colors are too similar. We're moving into the whites and the grays and the blacks here in this particular run through. And I think this is a wide range. I'm not sure we've got a white as white as I would like yet, nor a black as black as I would like yet. So I think that's something we, we can do going forward. And remember, hopefully you've watched the 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 video where we talked about joining the paint development team we have the master pigments we have the technology we are actually able to develop and build our own paints with your feedback what's missing what do we need and and from my little run here i would say that we're missing a black a black and a white a white if we can if we can make that using the master paints i think we should experiment and see what we can do there are plenty of new blues to go with plenty of old blues as well there's quite a wide selection of blues now i would quite happy that they're different enough a couple of them maybe are a little bit similar same with the reds that we've already skimmed through here there's a couple of reds that are maybe just a little bit too close um that's just just a thing we noticed but we've already fed that back to the army painter and they've let us know that was one of the things they were already adjusting and that is the point of this team and the point of army painter trying to be transparent and letting us see all this in advance there's no point making colors we don't need so if you see one that's surplus to requirements i think it's time we let them know and you know at the end of the day we either get another color in the paint set which you know makes a difference to us we get a different color that we might need or we take one out and it saves a little bit of money so we'll see a big big change and we've seen that in the comments from the previous video is you guys would love to see more skin tones we're on to the sort of orange section, the skin section now as well. And we, you can see there's a few new ones. We've got this sort of age hide availability. We've got this peachy skin, peachy flesh, actually, it's called. Um, so two new ones without a doubt, as well as like the darker skin tones, which have more cryptic names because they're not normally anything to do with actually named skins another thing we've already fed back to army painter and they're going to adjust some of the names of the browns which will give us a lot better naming for some of the darker skin tones that we might want to use in the future but this is a nice new selection and then moving on to as as i just mentioned some of the browns and here we've got some nice new skin tones as well which hopefully accommodate all sorts of people in the world and that's a great move as well and something that people have already requested I would like to see the names changed and they're working on that at the moment. I think it'd be a lot easier. It's often quite difficult to pick, pick a skin tone if it's not got the word skin in it and things like that. So that's a change we might see. There's a couple of browns we're about to look at right now. So there's brown titan as well as bony matter. And to me, I would say those two are very indistinguishable from each other. Another thing I'll mention as we're going through this video, you're seeing on the left side the finished paint I should probably mention that at the start that's after it's dried after it's all set and that's filmed in about 5200 kelvin sort of daylight conditions so you're seeing that as bright and as realistic as it could be if you were outside in the sun whereas the painting aspect of it was done under a bright white light but in a living room style condition so it's a little bit more blown out a little bit more contrasted but also darker at the same time the white's really bright because the light will shine on it the paints are a little bit darker but a little bit more like you would actually see if you're painting in a normal sort of kitchen or living room environment if you're not under a load of studio lights which they are doing on the spin at the end yellows is a big change as well i've seen a lot of people already ask for better yellows a less orangey yellow and hopefully We've already got a couple of colors here which are accommodating that. There's two brand new yellows. One's incredibly bright and one's just a little bit, you know, dulled down a little bit, a bit browner, I guess, but it's still very yellow. And both of which have much, much more yellow based recesses moving strongly away from that orange hue we've been used to in the original Zella yellow. Greens were already quite a strong color in the original speed paint range and they've added to it now. This might be an area where they cross over a little bit, but they've added, I thought hawk skin was bad enough to begin with, but they've added some seriously bright greens. That's another thing that's noticeable in this addition, these additional speed paints is there's quite a lot of vibrant, vivid and bright colors in the range now. There's almost a bright blue, a bright red, a bright orange, a bright green, a bright yellow. Have I missed anything? We, I'm, I'm not sure we've got bright white yet 
or a bright black can you have bright black but they're the colors i'm thinking we need to try and work on if we can they might not be achievable with the pigments but it's something that we should explore but yes there's now like this sickly green available as well there's a couple of sickly there's a lot of sea base sort of turquoisey sea greens available as well a slightly off orc green available in this camo gunno set and then yeah caribbean ocean as i've as i mentioned like a lot of these sea colors so you can get very you're getting a wider range if you're painting up crazy dragons or sea monsters and stuff like that as well as a lot more military options available i know a lot of people play bolt action and other military based tabletop games and there's just an awful lot of greens and browns now which hopefully will be appealing to that sort of audience and with that you've seen all of the colors applied to a miniature so we can sort of get a feel for how these look now as i mentioned at the start these are prototype paints they don't flow correctly or anything like that i should have mentioned they were also applied on top of army painters matte white primer two thin coats of primer then the colors on top that's not going to matter too much because we're really just looking at the colors and that's where it's over to you guys we need your feedback in the comments below any colors missing any color surplus and anything else you would like to see done with these colors so we can get some feedback to army painter we're watching and listening and reading every comment you leave below and that's all going to be computed together and hope Hopefully give Army Painter the feedback they need so we can all have the best new speed paints available. Thank you ever so much for watching. There'll be plenty more videos going forwards from the paint development team, both on our channel, Dana House channel, Goober Town Hobbies, and Ninjons as well. So stay tuned for many more updates. Bye-bye. We need your feedback, so leave that in the comments below. I've got my glasses on. What am I doing wearing glasses? I don't wear glasses. You don't know I wear glasses. <laughs>